Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about the amazing movies and his educated rodents. This is the 28th novel in the Discworld series, but it is also a standalone. It's categorized often as YA, but I think it's enjoyable for everyone. The story leans heavily on the tale of the Pied Piper. The story is set in Überwald, but Maurice and his educated rodents actually come from Ankhmulpur, where they learn to talk. The rats used to live in the trash pile behind the Unseen University, and of course a lot of magic stuff gets thrown there. So one day they found themselves smart in thinking and talking. And they teamed up with this talking cat and this stupid looking kid and his pipe and traveled around different cities playing the trick of the Pied Piper, saying there's a rat plague and then the boy comes and takes the rats away for some money. That's how we start. The story is mostly set in Überwald and in Bad Blinz, where they have a rat plague already and little food. A lot of things are not going well and the rat catchers are basically milking the town, extracting a lot of money for rat tails. And of course you can imagine that paying a lot of money for rat tails increases rat tails. And so the story is a lot of fun. Like I said, it's playing on the trope of the Pied Piper, but it's also using a lot of other fairy tale tropes or storytelling tropes, especially through the mayor's daughter who likes to think in stories and keeps telling stories and tries to look at life as a story or wrap life into a story so that it sounds more interesting. All of that is really well done and so much fun. We mostly follow the rats and the kids trying to figure out what's going on in this town, find all the mysteries and secrets around the rat catchers and of course at the end saving the day. I really enjoyed this read not only for the fun story, but also for the amount of wordplay that is happening here. Of course, it makes a lot more sense if you speak German, because a lot of the word puns are centered around German words and how they live or work out with English words and translate it and things like that. So I was smiling throughout the book quite a lot. I also like the themes or the ideas around the rats turning into a thinking people and how that changes their behavior and how it's different between older rats and younger rats and what thinking actually means, the dreams they have, the aspirations and how they have to change their life or how they change their lives and outlooks and compared to normal rats who don't speak and think in the way that the new or changelings as they call them think. Overall I can recommend this book to anyone who wanted to try Terry Pratchett's writing and not get invested into any of the storylines because you do not get a lot of the typical Discworld tropes or themes and plots or characters but you do see the way Pratchett writes, the way he incorporates ideas and philosophies in his stories, the fun and joy he brings to the text and to the characters and to the reading experience for the reader. It's as a shorter book very enjoyable and it was much better than I remembered it. So highly recommend it. You can read it as a standalone. It doesn't have any connection to any other books. You don't need any prior knowledge about the Discworld to understand what is going on and it's just fun. Of course, I want to know if you have read The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents, what you thought about it, if you enjoyed it, what you think about the standalone books in general in the Discworld series, and yeah, anything Discworld. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.